Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Arya. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. He's about to meet his match. That kind of talk goes a long way with me. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Norman and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Shipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. Works for me. If you're as accommodating the rest of the way, we'll get along very well. Then let's quit talking and get to it. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Recognition. 
Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the General. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Pull it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. I doubt the elusive man thinks of me that highly. I do my own research, Commander. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Their escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be flown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you. Ground. In combat, what you say goes. Makes sense. We play to our strengths. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. I'm back.
Our pod took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Team, report in. Bray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up with ease of maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight! Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. 
Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. There's a good chance the General knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Ray, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. The Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. It's strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property too. Warning. Omega has been compromised. All Cerberus personnel report to stations. The Talon symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. One of my soldiers by the force. What the hell is he doing?
mechs are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit! Need to check out that force field. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Arya Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't? I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyreen Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. Status. Still landing inside the bunker. Keep the enemy out. Lock it down. Now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors.
focus on the Atlas. Lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the General's clued in? Maybe you felt safer hiding in the dark. You should both know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. In fact, I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyreen has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? Nyreen never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Right. Keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. You'll do what you need to do. And here I thought you might come here trying to change me. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready.
What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Rock. Rock, you there? I swear, if you don't answer soon... Finally. Where are you? You don't know? Seriously? Rerouting system. When you can spare some time, Commander. What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and... Well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Supplies are gonna be tight. If we hadn't lost that shipment, you mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah. This area is still unsecured. Off limits for now, Commander. Just to remind you, Commander, when you find Cerberus terminals, please input we'll be setting my access code. Ship, so pay Thank attention you. to the roster updates. We also want some supplies. Human. Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. I'm... As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. We'll make them join, one way or another. Perfectly put. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Yes, what is it? Got a minute? We need to get going, but what's on your mind? It seems like there's more to Irene than meets the eye. You mean her disappearing act? Honestly, I'm not concerned. If it was anyone else, I'd want blood, but Nyreen's a variable I can control. She believes in a code of ethics. She oozes virtue. You two must have made an interesting pair. Opposites attract, right? Our connection was powerful, but doomed. Nyreen demonstrated zero flexibility. She couldn't put up with the challenges of my life. That's all you're getting out of me on this subject, Shepard. Anything else? Tell me about this Merc gang we're looking to enlist. They're drug runners and cutthroats, but they're highly organized. That sets them apart. They appear more civilized than, say, the Blood Pack, but at their heart, they're just as dishonorable. We'll have to appeal to their lust and greed to get and keep them in line. Anything else you need to know? Tell me more about Petrovsky. He presumes to sit on my throne, that's all that matters. I get that you hate him, Arya, but I need to know who we're up against. 
All right, I'll admit he's not like other Cerberus operatives I've encountered. He's smart, thinks outside the box, very hard to predict. He's like his boss, no matter who suffers and no matter the cost, he stops at nothing. To defeat him, we have to be prepared to do the same. Is the cross-examination over because time is of the essence? Once we recruit the Talons, how do we reach the General? I'm working on it. His command center set up an afterlife. No doubt a deliberate move to piss me off. Anger makes you all the more lethal. Count on it. Those strange force fields are blocking access to much of the station, including afterlife. So after we complete our current objective, I'll be looking for a way to get around them. Enough talk. Is there anything else or can we move on? That's all for now. Good. I'll meet you at the exit by the armory. I'm giving up. New inverters are the only answer. Good luck out there. What's your history with this game? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. All soldiers know they're expendable. Exactly. The Talons are mine already, they just don't know it yet. Just let me do the talking and... Commander, Cerberus forces are scrambling. Looks like an attack on the Talons. Judging from calm chatter, the priority target is in the area. Could be the Talon leader. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. That's odd. Why would they leave crates of red sand lying around like this? Maybe they had something more important going on. Not Darius. Profit is the only thing that matters to him. Anything else can burn. <clears throat> One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. The terminal is active. Thank you, Commander. Power's offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the Talons are given as good as they get.
Understood. Last chance, Charlie. 
Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Arya, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer is no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. It's a generous offer. Arya, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Rampart mechs incoming! This way.
I hope you're not afraid of heights. has been compromised so many times it hardly knows up and down anymore. Nyrene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment. You're not just using the catwalk to see the passage to the base, are you? A long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Just reported into the boss. Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you.
here. We found more medical supplies. All yours. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Open your eyes. This is a war of attrition, and you're on the wrong side. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it.
Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. She said you were honorable. Glad to see she was right. Yeah, sure. Wonders never cease. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You handled Nyrene perfectly and got us an army. She wears her weakness on her chest. It would take more effort to stop myself from exploiting it. Let's hope she's up to the task. You and I will have to keep her on point. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in fast. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative. The General threw out Arya's couch from Afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have me nice. Enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. They think they have us trapped in here. They're in for a surprise. As just sent out a warning notice. We're heading out soon. Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. 
Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you is in on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the General will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best in me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I for one can't wait to finally get my hands on him. What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt, chaos ensues, and we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center in afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. Scouts are ready to go. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code? And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me... and haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. 
The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. I appreciate it, Nyree. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Still processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be... Quiet. What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Find the power breaker. Follow the pipe. <clears throat> the whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! <laughs> make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door.
another one. Fire at will. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door, just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the General sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes, the creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Access to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. elevator across the way.
bastards are running this place too hot. It'll burn out in a month. Stay focused. going to get us there. reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. Careful. This place is falling apart. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. It started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just warm up.
There's the reactor. Straight ahead. I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like Lord. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. Why don't you do this in person, Petrovsky? Get your own hands dirty. I take no pleasure in any of this, Commander. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. I'll do it your way. Nereen! Max! Stay alive over there. You can't do this. 
this, Commander. There's more at stake than you know. That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards across the station. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down! Shepard, don't! Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're almost spent. Irene, watch your flank. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. What are you waiting for? Overload the reactor. She'd just throw thousands of lives away. Shepard, Irene's down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough. Prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. You okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud him. When are you going to learn? There are no innocents on Omega. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. What's gonna happen if we run into more Nairi? Huh? She'll find out what she's really made of. Let's move on. Gladly. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Gray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyrene, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. Don't get ahead of yourself. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. Don't let them through. Some reinforcements to the Megan Tunnel. I can't 
extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Let's go. Shepard, we need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. with the support columns. We have to stop them. Things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Just get to the rendezvous point. That's all that matters. Not in my world. Nyrene out. 
So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Cerberus. How do you know that? It could be the town. Never mind. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Over there! Look out! Focus on the Atlas!
looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solarian. Right. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. Things are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter! Keep Shepard away from those generators! Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. I 
Is this true, Arya? Inexplicably. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Cold blooded murder. No less than you deserve. Clean up this mess. Well, that was deeply satisfying. I'm a little surprised. I thought you might try to interfere. Why is that? This partnership has been an exercise in frustration. We won. Yes, I know. But I like to know what makes people tick. Especially someone I might need something from in the future. So come clean. Have you been trying to work me? Validating me one minute, judging me the next? Which is it, really? Have I been that hard to read? I've lived for a thousand years, Shepard, and you may be the most powerful and baffling being I've ever encountered. I have no idea where I stand with you. I like it better that you don't know. I'd hate to see you get too comfortable. You are a truly dangerous person. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Ezo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders, and... ...we will take our revenge. It's their turn to tremble. Their turn to bleed. Going forward, your lives will be hard. But the price you pay is for your freedom. Only I can protect that. And hear this. I will make Omega impenetrable. No one will ever threaten my domain again. From this day on, the galaxy will know one hard truth. Don't fuck with Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> 